Hello and welcome. My name is Naveen Mantani. Today I will show you how to set up your Visual Studio Team Services and a Git repository, and then how to set up a continuous integration and deployment at the end. So to start with that, we need to create a first is the team project. So let's say we're creating a new account. Okay, I want to create a sample MVC application. Let's see if this uh, URL will be added or not. So here we'll be using a Git repository. So we create it in the first step, let it create a team project. It uh, takes a minute to complete its process and setting up the team services and then it presents a home page. Okay, we got that created. Now on this first home page, you see it uh, by default created called as the project called as my first project. Uh, let's delete that I would say. So we go back to that account URL and we want to delete this first of all. Okay, so to do that, we go in uh, settings. I believe we can delete from here. Okay, type in the name of the project. So that's my first. You don't want to create this one. Okay. Let it delete this team project, close. Now we don't have any new projects. So let's create a new team project and we will name it as uh, my MVC. Okay, it will allow, it will validate that. Version control is Git. Uh, work item process will be Scrum. Let's create a team project with that name, my MVC. Again, it takes a minute to create this project. Once it's ready, now the next step is uh, to set up a source control, uh, check in some code. How do we do that? These are the options that are presented to you. You can probably clone in Visual Studio from directly from here. So by default, this is your repository name that's created, okay? but then there are some additional options to use an external repository as well. So we can go into the details of those options later, but for now I'm going to show you the default Git repository that is created for you. Okay. Let's clone in Visual Studio. So click on that. Yes, it will invoke your Visual Studio. It will authenticate my login. Sign in with your account. Once it signs you in, you will notice that let me expand this one for you. Yeah, so you're seeing here Visual Studio Team Services, my MVC project. This is your URL for that. Now you will clone it at a location which is convenient to you. So let's set it up under C, a new folder. Call it as my demo apps. Okay, let's set up that as my base working location. Now I can clone. Okay, it got cloned. Uh, initially, you don't have any source. So let's say you want to create a new solution or you can add your existing solution as well. But since we don't have anything, so we will create a new one. And we will select a web application it as my MVC okay 
create a new repository we already have one so click on ok select MVC and add the unit test as well click on we will not host it in cloud yet I will show you how to set up the continuous deployment to Azure Web App in the later part of the session click OK it again takes a minute or two to create the default template for an MVC application and what we see here is the default page of the website so if I had to rebuild it and run this application you will see this web page as the first home page for you so I'm just rebuilding it just to make sure whatever the source has got created by default can be compiled and if I run it uh, let's say we are running in the edge browser run that in debug mode by the way and it will open up a web page new tab for that it should load the similar first home page of the default MVC template that you saw earlier so there it is and for example uh, I want to change some things around here and there so let's go ahead and make a quick change I will say create um, modify the name of the application here so under the layout this is by default the MVC provides you the layout which is a master template on all the pages it will apply the same layout and you can have you know, there are like various ways to work with the layouts as well so let's say I want to just replace this to my MVC where that's our name of the project is it so let's call it my MVC save it and go back to your browser refresh the screen and it shows you the new change okay so let's close this and stop debugging now I want to show you a little bit more about you had this source control uh, you had this initial source code and you want to see in the changes section it shows you all the files that you just recently added okay this is the whole list of the basic template along with that change that you just made now you want to provide a simple comment here saying initial source code for MVC application and we will say commit and push so commits and then commits and push push will again push it to the origin as you see right now that's what is happening uh, so it has committed your change and then it is pushing it to the origin okay source control is up to date now let's go into uh, team explorer home tab and browse this url so this takes you to the files as you see here your source control just got checked in into this my mvc repository okay this is how you will make changes and submit your changes now once you have the basic source code checked in you want to set up a continuous integration and then validate your builds all the changes that are coming into your source you want to compile them automatically for that you will have to go to the builds configure a build definition and then if you want to further go ahead and deploy them that also you could do uh, under the releases by configuring a release definition that will deploy your application probably in Azure web app or uh, based on where you want to deploy it okay so this particular video session just shows you how you can start up a new team project 
configure a git repository and check in your source code.